What's up, YouTube? Astrid Clover here with my buddy, Boom Guy. Hello. Father's Day is coming up, and if you can't afford to get your dad a present, no sweat. These DIYs don't cost a dime. Get ready for some Father's Day gifts that are so rewarding, Dog the Bounty Hunter will be jealous. Get it? Because he... Because he's a bounty hunter. Yeah. He collects rewards. Mm -hmm. Yep. This first Father's Day craft is an art project that you can make for absolutely nothing. Just use any craft supplies you have on hand. So like paper, markers, if you've got paint, glue, whatever. All right, what are we making? We'll put the pick in and editing. Astrid, I need to actually see what the picture is. Right, yeah. So that I know yeah. what I'm making. <laughs> got it, I, yeah. Isn't that cute? I don't, I don't get it. Ani, tient, wrong, ero. No, no, no. Father. Ero, See, it says father, and then the other words go across. Why would they make father the same color as the background? It's so difficult to read. Yeah, that's, that's a little difficult to read. We'll make ours bolder colors. Okay, so you can customize this craft by picking words that relate to your dad. Okay, so first you have to start by writing father. Uh... H. E. E. You got this. Yep. There you go. Cool. Yeah, it's just like, I'm used to like, you know, autocorrect. It'll fix. And I just, if, if I don't see it, then it's like, because sometimes I'll get like halfway through a word and then I'm like, that's spelled wrong. I need to like see it to see that it's spelled wrong. Okay. So it's like a crossword. You see here? So we have father, and then you put other words going across that relate to your dad. So like, F, my dad goes on a lot of hikes, so we can put fit. Okay. Two. And then we'll like change up the colors. We'll do like, fit. Cool. Okay. And then uh, not every single one needs to start with the letters in father. So it can be like, A can be like, dad, you know? So like, D on this side, and then like, like dad. Dad? See, yeah, like D-A-D. You, are you sure, dad? Like, really? What? It's perfect, it's. I mean, cause you already had father, so. Yeah, but I go on, whatever. Okay, all So right. T, we could do the best, the best dad. The that's, best? that's, that's weird. That's weird, it's there's a, a lot long. of letters. Uh, what about something more like, Patient. Patient's good. Yeah. Cool. All right. That's not a lot of letters. 50 cent word right there. Okay. Are you like. What it. What, I'm just like mixing up the colors so you have to do it across, like crossword style. Okay. So. Patient. Definitely suits my dad. He's very patient letting me live there while my vlogging career takes off. Oh, that's great. There we go. Cool. Cool. H. H. Um, there's honest. Yeah, honest is good. He's very honest, telling me that I should have a plan B. All right. Honest. Do you want, like, S green? You, oh, wait, what? E. Just, right? Okay, yeah. I just didn't know if you wanted, like, the green over the... Well, we green. haven't really been keeping up any good patterns. I, we no. started doing, um, that one's mixed up, this one's... Whatever. Here, just uh, put the green over this A. Oh, that's a good idea. There we go. See, now we have a pattern. Okay, so put an E there. And then we'll put a T. Do a T in like, like orange. Red? Red. If, we, if we're trying to isolate the father, we probably shouldn't do that. No, no, no. Um, I'll do orange. Yeah, it's fine. Or, yeah. Cool. Okay. Honest. Okay. E. Mm, there's reliable, like reliable, R-E. Doesn't really suit him. He has kicked me out of the house multiple times. Okay. Um, oh, retired, retired. Yeah. Uh, that one's kind of lame. I already wrote that. Retired, it's, I mean, it's accurate, so. I, yeah, it's just, okay. Retired. Retired, red, right? Yeah, all right, R, R is next. Nice. Last word. And then another R. We already did retired. Um, um, father. 
do how many letters back does that equate to? Wait, hold on. Don't do father. I rewrote the F. What? I mean, you started out with father. That's that what? is the word you're starting with. Why would you put that at the bottom? Full circle. What? I don't know. I already wrote the F. Let's just do it. He's just gonna be excited that I didn't forget. Hey. Mm, do a different color. Do. So how do I say? Don't, it? I it don't has have to that many H colors. And e. Okay, so what comes right, be right before the R? So, e. e. Right. So put the E in the green. And then put. That needs to be H. H in pink. T H. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have a fat T here. Why'd you make the H so tiny? I because you made the E so tiny. I, Fat her. That looks pretty dumb. <laughs> that looks pretty bad. Uh, uh, oh my god. Alright. Well, it's not you too spelled bad. idiot. And it's all in blue. It's the most visible thing on the page, Astrid. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I also spelled dare. Here we go. Dare, father, idiot. Tenner. To see. T yeah. Do you want to redo it? It's the thought that counts. A classic Father's Day gift is to get your dad a tie, but again, we're trying not to spend any money, so make him this paper tie. All right. Cool. How, how do right. we do it? Yeah. Yep, okay. Okay, here's the... Okay, origami, we got this. Yee. Does that need to be a square? It does. Okay. Uh, scissors? To make it into a square. That's a triangle. Open it up, it's a square. Why are you folding it then? Because if you fold it over like this with a corner, it makes a perfect square. You don't it need makes a, a ruler. That's a rectangle. This. Uh, if I cut the <laughs> <laughs> What? Take a look. Take a look. That's a triangle and a rectangle. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. You're just making a rectangle. Okay, well, uh, I'll, I'll make the tie with the rectangle then. Got it. Perfect square. Got it. That's a good idea. Okay, so you made a... Just... No, 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 not corner to corner. So just... Um, okay. Start, fold it so that this corner comes over here and that these piece, these sides are lined up with each other. Okay. Like if you perfectly line those up, it'll make a square. All right, you're gonna need to take the lead on this craft. I'm not very... So, I mean, we're doing origami. So you you fold, you fold, okay. you already have it folded like this. Oh, so okay. Okay. now you... So square, paper, fold in half, have triangle. So now you fold these to meet, make them meet in the middle. Like... Yep, exactly. It's kind of like making a paper airplane. Step three. Step four. What else? What's next? Uh, looks like you bend it down like a beak. It looks like it's folded over, doesn't it? Looks Did like this is the back side. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we make... Just anywhere? I guess so. It doesn't really say. So we fold it over... To make like the little penguin step five shape and then fold it back up these directions don't really make sense do they step six okay so then it what is this bend it over bend it over it oh whoops um maybe I mean, I guess we can just bend the little triangle over and then see what we have there. This looks awful. Okay, so... Step six? St yeah. Is it six or seven? Seven? Seven. Seven? Okay. So now we fold these in to the center. Okay. Um... 
I shouldn't have picked such thick paper. Yeah, it's really hard to fold. <laughs> I mean, I, it's kind of a tie. I mean, it could almost be like a clip-on tie because you've got the little thing. You can like... Oh, is that what that's for? Surely not. I mean, okay. I guess I guess so. This is actually kind of awesome. I want to keep it. Well, luckily you can. Because it is a piece of construction paper. Mine doesn't hang. For your final craft, you will need a pair of old socks. You have old socks? Yes, I do. All right. Oh, uh, do you have anything that's like got patterns or like more colorful or something? Not that I'm willing to use for a craft. It's gonna be kind of lame. It's just all black. What are we making? Uh, we're making like beer koozies. So yeah, it sucks. Ugh, that's gross. I mean, not if they're washed. They're washed, right? I mean, you asked for old socks. I thought we were just gonna be using them for rags or something. So. Oh. I didn't grab a new pair of socks to... You don't have any any brand new, colorful, clean S socks? You want me to cut my brand new, colorful, clean socks? No. Oh, never mind. Let's just get this over with. Is there is there somewhere we're supposed to cut? I mean, if you want to get the beer cans, we're just trying to make it the size of a beer can. I mean, do we want... Hmm. Oh, you're trying to go, like, we put it in Do the we want to, like, yeah, like, koozie it or what, you know? Yeah, that works. Just make sure you cut it short enough so that the rim of the <laughs> beer pokes out and we don't just get a mouthful of sock. Oh, nah, there's, like, on the bottom of yours. <laughs> what is that? That's so gross. No, it's like I, I had stepped in paint like a long time ago. <laughs> you asked for old socks. I don't... <laughs> this is so nasty. All right. Got yourself DIY koozie. What? Are you planning on giving him a can with it? Like... I'm, I don't know why. Because if, if you don't give him any sort of like drink with it, you're just giving him a sock. You're giving him a cut up sock. Happy Father's Day, Dad. I don't know what it is. This is obviously a koozie. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna pretend like I forgot Father's Day again. This is. This is disappointing. Just. Just text him Happy Father's Day. Yeah. Do you have to give him something? No. Okay. No, he doesn't. He doesn't expect much from me. I set the bar low. This got sad. We tried. Happy Father's Day! Idiot. <laughs>